All right. Back again in this video, I will be removing the handle on this late 1800 replica frying pan and placing on one that I hand forged so that it can be used in Civil War reenactments by a gentleman that I know and commissioned me to make the handle for him. All right, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to take this one inch by 3 16 piece of mild steel and I'm going to turn it into a handle for a steel frying pan for reenactments. I'll shape it out and then I will take and form it, rivet to the frying pan and I'll put a nice little scroll in and all on it. We'll see how she turns out. What I'll end up doing is, is taking this tail, pulling, drawing it on out to a finer taper, and I'll probably file in the shoulders a little cleaner, and then I'll do a nice little roll with a scroll on it, uh, you know, a little hook. Um, this is actually going to be for Civil War reenactment, going to Civil War era, era uh, knapsack. So we'll see how it turns out. Looks once it's all finished. Now that I've got it drawn out, I'll start rounding it. Alright, now I'm going to widen out the handle a little bit for it to be closer back to the one inch width that it was originally. Back on that. Let's see. All right. Uh, this is just part of the video, the footage that I'm shooting today, and all. So, like I said, I can guarantee that I can get out at least a minimum of one video a week for the regular, and uh, also work on the series for the patrons. All right. So. We'll see how she's turning out and keep moving forward. Have a blessing.
you can see it's broadening it out nicely. And also thinning it a little bit and then I'll clean up the cross paint member marks in a minute. That way it pushes it out sideways instead of stretching it out the long ways. What I'm doing here is just cleaning up the hammer marks, smoothing things out, making it look a little nicer. And for that, with this mild steel, you don't have to have a you know super high heat or anything. What I'll do with some of this is that I'll actually get filed up and clean up that way. Uh, but you now it's as you can see. We'll make a nice little handle. I've got a uniform thickness all the way down it. Uh, pretty uniform width. Now what I'll do is finish tapering the tail. Now, I'm going to continue to draw it out. I'll end up cutting part of it off, and I'll actually scroll it back around. A little. All right. The uh, tail that I had on it was just way too long. So I cut about half of it out, and then I'm retapering this. All right. And that'll give a much shorter that I can actually do what I want to do with. All right, there we go again. Now you can see that it's a fairly smooth, rounded tail. I'll come in here with a file cleanup, the shoulder and all right here. And uh, then I'll go ahead and make the bend and everything. So I'll be right back after that.
what I'm doing is I hammer it down to flatten it out just a little bit and then I start working around the edges. Alright, there we are. Three rivets. Now to clean this up a little bit. Evens the taper and all up. I'll, uh, there you go. Sorry about the footage getting lost of me actually finishing out the shape of the handle and all. But um, I had a problem with the memory when I went to go save it, and uh, it aired out. There you go. Rivet it in, and those are actually 16 penny nails. I'll uh, go over it with a Brillo pad and all, clean it up a little bit, warm it up, coat it with some uh, you know, bacon grease, and season it. There you go. One nice little frying pan. Alright, what I'm doing here is actually filing, cleaning up some of the areas that were just a little bit rough. Get a little bit more uniform look down the sides. Clean up a little bit of the hammer texture.
don't want any burrs on there that could catch a finger or something. So. Just be finished cleaning it up and then season it for him. Everything looked good. Here are the rivets. Overall, the, the handle ended up being right around seven, seven and a quarter inches. I think he's, I think he'll be pleased with it. Um, I didn't forge out Pam as you know, as you saw from previous parts of video and all. But um, I'm thinking about actually making a little swage and all to where I can do some little, little you know, camp frying pans and stuff like that out of some thin sheet metal, forge out little handles and you know, may, may do that. We'll see. All right, have a blessed one. Talk to you later.